Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. If you guys are new, please subscribe. I have an exciting video for you guys today. As you can see from the title, I got my car running and here's a walk around and update of my K24 Turbo MR2 Spider. Alright, so here's an update. As you can see, I sold my old Enki RPF1s. Um, I am not happy about it, obviously, but I have these Bogart slash Black Watch racing wheels. These are retro wheels that were really, really popular for um, Lotuses that went to the track, um, especially wide body ones or ones that had the GT3 kit or GT4 kits on it. And so they're the only ones that I could find for cheap that were 4x100 and had the fitment that I needed without having to you know, get custom specs or custom wheels. These only ran me around 1500 shipped um, from the previous owner, which had a wide body Lotus Exige. So the rears are 18 by 11 plus 20. As you can see on the Monocraft kit, fits pretty flush. I mean, that that's as good as it gets. I didn't have to modify anything really. I did have to raise the car quite a lot. As you can see, you know, I have a good amount of wheel gap now. It doesn't look terrible, but it's definitely not slammed like before. On the RPF ones, they were rubbing too, but with a wider tire of a 295 in the back, um, you need to have the clearance, especially because the inside of the tire will hit the chassis. Um, and then on the front, I have 17 by nine and a half plus 18. Um, and here's a look at that. So also pretty flush. Um, and it's a 255 tire on there. So it works out pretty well. Um, I would want to go Because at least in terms of stretch This is nine and a half for the 255. That's the 11 with the 295. The profile on this one's a lot thinner So it looks like it has a little bit of stretch um, 295 is pretty much the max I would want to put on maybe a 305 so I might downsize the front to like a 245 or I don't know. I'll see what I can do what I can fit but this is a monocraft kit look around as you can see I sold my hood There's a lot of things changing with this car to work in progress I was really just changing things out because I couldn't figure out why the car wasn't running So I just sold a bunch of parts try to make some side money stuff like that I'm um, still in school and everything so that's in California and the car is not in California So I have to always um, You know leave and I can never really work on the car continuously Which is why the uploads are so sporadic all the time which I'm trying to get better at. I'm hoping to ship down this car down to California in the future just for track use and such, um, since I still have my TSX as my daily down there. Um, so this is a hood that I scavenged off of uh, Togi Times. Um, he's a YouTuber as well. He has a 2ZZ MRS. And so I took it off of his car. I gave him my old hood, just a free trade. Um, so I still have a carbon Lotus cutout, the same one as it did before, except it's carbon fiber instead of fiberglass, so I can redo it. The fitment on the carbon fiber ones are a little bit better, and this time I'm going to relocate the power steering so that way I don't have a hole in it. You know, you live and you learn. 17 year old me didn't really think about things correctly, so getting a little bit better at that now that's like four years later. Um, everything else on the car is pretty good. Like I said, the car is pretty high. Monocraft kit still needs some tweaking. It doesn't look too bad. Around the headlights, there's little gaps and stuff, but honestly, the fitment's not terrible. Um, as long as you put some, I didn't even, I'm not a body shop, and I just kind of slapped it on. You gotta re-drill the holes and stuff, and you know, massage stuff, but other than that, it's pretty good. The wheels, appearance-wise, aren't that great to me, um, but they're functional. I don't rub anymore. Still need to cut out, not cut out, but I need, still need to smash in or dent in my that pinch weld in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's what the tires will rub on on hard cornering. So I just got to trim that, which a lot of people do when they run 17s or bigger wheels in general or go wide body. Um, but did put the Euro side markers that come on those fenders. It actually fits right into the Monocraft kit hole. I have the upgrade Monocraft um, carbon fiber side scoop covers. This interior is still the same. Um, and now we're going to talk about how I got this car running. So I was having chasing down that misfire issue in a minute. I went through everything, every sensor, every coil pack, spark plug, replaced as much as I could. Everything, never really fixed it. 
So tried data logging, sent it to my tuner, and he couldn't figure it out either. But he did say that the wide band reading wasn't changing, and it wasn't fluctuating like it should be. Um, so I changed the wide band sensor with a new AEM sensor, and I only have one of them, obviously. So you get rid of the secondary O2, so I only have one, which relies on that for all of your AFR readings. Now, I went ahead, got a new AEM wide band, and it didn't fix it. So um, I just ruled that out and said that wasn't the issue. Um, he kind of was like giving me some pointers on other things I could fix. And then one na night at like 2 or 3 a.m., I found an old archive post on a K20 Turbo Civic from like 2018. And he had a similar problem, so I kept reading. And luckily, he said to he replaced his wide band, but after he replaced his wide band, he had to calibrate it with the K Pro V4 and set the parameters for that sensor as well as on the analog inputs uh, on the Honda software you can change which sensor you're using so I changed it to the one um, that didn't match this part number but was actually for a slightly different one but AM says to use the AM430-4110 instead of a 30-2004 so that's what I did. The primers were a lot better. Plugged it in, calibrated in free air, calibrated in the sensor, uh, in the exhaust. And then after that, started up and it just ran. And it's running beautifully. I feel like it never ran this good before. So I also changed the AM, also changed the AM dash display, just customized it. I'm telling you guys, I was so bored not getting this car to run, so disappointed. I had to do something. So, other than that, the car is the same. Uh, I still have white line sway bars to install. Um, I do have that new DDPR stand. And what else do I have in here? Um, as you can see, I have the GoPro mounted. So, I just filmed uh, a drive, just a POV drive, not beating on it the whole time, but just cruising around. So, because a lot of you guys requested that. So you guys will see that in the next video. Other than that, that's pretty much the end of the video. Quick little video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.